lift up, push button, and it starts. Here we go. Gadget Jeff. Beep beep. Gotta be quiet this morning because it's like 7 in the morning. Don't want to wake anybody up. And uh, I don't want to really be up either because I am hungover as a mofo here in Las Vegas. Went out last night. <clears throat> Had a few drinks. But this morning, something really exciting is happening. You know, for the city that never sleeps, it's actually a little quiet this morning. I think everyone's probably still in bed, a little uh, hungover and would rather be sleeping like me. Here I am in the parking garage and my rental car right here, a Nissan Altima, is about to get friggin' traded in. Ah uh, yes, yeah, 7.30 in the morning and the sun is shining. You know, I can see myself living in a warm climate one of these days. Seattle's awesome, but waking up at 7 in the morning to Listening sun. Listening? Is that even a word? All right, we are here at Vegas Luxury Rides. Let's do this. And here we are. And that red one over there is mine. All right, I just got out of Vegas Luxury Rides with my new red Lamborghini Huracan LP610. This has been one of my dream cars to drive for quite some time. Um, the only thing is I'm about six foot four and these are Italian made cars, so I don't fit in it that well. So it's gonna be a little crammed for the uh, review, but uh, I think I'll manage. Ah, yes. Tiny car for tiny Italian. But I'm not Italian. Let's get in this beast. All right, we are inside the Lamborghini Huracan. I came down with a friend named Kendra. I'm gonna go pick her up here in a couple minutes. She's still sleeping in. I don't blame her. But you know what? The sun's out. We're in a red Lamborghini. It's, it doesn't look like it's gonna be a bad day. So, uh... The only thing is the visibility, I can already tell, is like very skewed. You can't see much. So, and I don't want to hit anybody because that would just be a no-go. But uh, as you can tell, it's already got a little bit of pick-me-up. It's definitely faster than the uh, Nissan Altima. I can already tell it's got more spunk than that. But, uh, you yeah, know, let's see what happens. I'm going to try to find a quick little freeway just to, you know, open her legs a little bit, see if she can... Street from Vegas Luxury Rides. I wanted to quickly say this isn't going to be an in-depth review of the car, so turn off the video now if you think it's going to be an in-depth review. I don't want to waste your time because um, I don't know a whole lot about this car other than it's pretty freaking badass, I would have to say. Um, but it is a 2015 Lamborghini Huracan LP610. Uh, it has 610-ish horsepower. It's a rear engine V10. Um, of course, made in Italia. Italia. Italian? Italy. Excuse me. Italy, like Ferrari two-seater there's gonna be no rear seat so no groceries no baby carriers you know this isn't a minivan yeah from every angle this car just shouts badass little flashy the red always gets uh gets more onlookers in general but a red Lamborghini Huracan is uh, right on up there for exotic car rentals now one neat thing about the car that I noticed that the designers put in is there's a lot of six-sided components to the car, like the rims, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's considered a hexagon. But everything has kind of a hexagon shape. The mirrors, one, two, three, four, five, six. The door handle, one, two, three, four, five, six. Come to the back of the car. The grille is, of course, six sided, but the taillight itself is six sides. Then you go to the inside of the car, and the vents are six-sided. Uh, the start button to start the car is six-sided. Uh, what else is there? I've noticed it a lot. Just shapes on the car. Everything kind of has a futuristic six-sided shape. Is this six? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, see what I mean? Kind of a neat feature. So being inside the Lamborghini for about five minutes here, um, I have to say I want to get one. I might have to trade in my Kia Rio or my Kia, what do I have? A Kia Optima? Kia Optima 
for a Lamborghini. I'm gonna have to probably take out a small loan, but I uh, can already tell this is pretty badass. So even my Corvette, I like the Corvette, but man, this is, this is a notch up. This is a notch up, definitely. I really like the interior. I don't want to have my shadow get in the way, but the seats are awesome. They're like a combination suede with leather, red stitching. I love the backrest, the wide uh, lumbar support on the top. The seats are really badass. <laughs> oh, it's sexy. Oh shit, speed bump. Oh, or pothole. Really don't want to ding this thing. I'm actually a little nervous. You know, you just put your normal insurance down, which is surprising. I can't believe you can insure like, you know, a Honda Civic that's worth a couple grand and actually be fully covered to drive a $200,000 Lamborghini. That seems like an odd little thing, but for the time being, that's how you can rent these things. This car is so badass, I think I'm just gonna spend 24 hours in it. It's a 24 hour rental, so I'm thinking of maybe just spending all 24 hours into it. Be like, hey Kendra, we're sleeping in the friggin' Lamborghini tonight. Cause, uh, you know, I could sleep in this. The seats don't go that far back. They're about as far back, but you know, I could, I could manage if I had to sleep in this car. You know, screw, I'm just gonna sell my house and buy a friggin' Lamborghini. Is it making popcorn back there? So what do you want to know, was the car fast? Oh yeah, I had to say the car scooted along pretty quick like. I thought my 500 horsepower Z06 Corvette hauled, but this thing was a completely different animal. I think it has to do with the extra 110 horsepower and being all wheel drive, which just made this a completely different experience than my rear wheel drive vet. Now Kinder and I had a really good time in this Lambo, uh, we ended up spending about four hours in it just driving around town cruising back and forth on the strip going to get coffee even though i don't drink coffee uh, we ended up taking a trip out to blue diamond nevada where there's this really cool uh, scenic drive called red rock canyon it's got all these turns and twisties which was a lot of fun in an exotic car now i wanted to give a big warm shout out and thank you to vegas luxury rides for lending uh, us the car for the day uh, we had a blast if you guys are ever in vegas and want to rent an exotic car a luxury car for the day or a few hours be sure to check out their website, which I'll put in the description below. They have no hidden fees. Their prices are friendly. They have a huge selection to choose from. Check them out. Now, in the four to five hours we were in the car, I think I had about 12 people honk at me. Probably about 30, 33 thumbs up. A lot of people waving. Probably a hundred girls smiling. I'd like to think it was just because it's me, but it's probably because of the Lambo. But still, it felt like it was being directed towards me, because I guess it was, because I was in the car, but it was mainly the car I guess they were waving at, but who knows. Now this was truly the second most exotic car that I've ever been in. Many, many years ago, I was dating this girl named Sarah. Uh, we ended up going to Vegas too and renting a red Ferrari F430. Of course, it was red. It was a convertible. It was a lot of fun. I ended up getting it from the same company, Vegas Luxury Rides. Um, and I actually ended up making a music video edit of the time we spent in the Ferrari, put it on YouTube, but due to music copyright infringements, they ended up muting the audio on my video, so I ended up just deleting it because it was pointless. Uh, however, I have posted a video back up without the audio on my channel, but it is unlisted. If you guys want to watch it anyways, I'll put the link in the description below. But the truly, really exciting news is I ended up buying a Lamborghini Huracan. A red one with black wheels like the one I had in Vegas. The only thing is it's actually a little bit more snug than the one I had in Vegas. Um, I don't know why, but it's a little bit more snug. It is a Lamborghini Huracan. It wasn't quite as expensive as the larger scale models, but uh, look, the doors open, the trunk opens. Pretty sweet. 
pick up a lot of women in this thing. And other than that, we did have a really good time in Vegas. We went and saw O, which is a Circus LA thing, which was a lot of fun. Went out to a lot of clubs, a lot of bars. We ended up going on the top of the stratosphere. If you guys ever in Vegas, you owe it to yourself to go on top of the stratosphere and ride the rides on the very top. They have this one called the Big Shot, which is absolutely terrifying. I won't talk too much about it, but here's a picture of her and I on it. Uh, it was absolutely terrifying. And we also got a caricature, which looks kind of funny. I like caricatures. You even got my big lip and my big teeth. So, well, guys, I hope you enjoyed my Lamborghini Huracan review. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section below. I want to thank you for staying subscribed. Uh, my company is getting closer to being sold, hopefully, which will give me lots of more free time to make these videos quicker. Um, I got all the equipment to make videos quick it's just I like to put a lot of time and thought and effort into each of these videos and it just takes a lot of time and uh, I wish I could just sit here and make videos continuously but I still need to manage other things and I got a couple employees that work for me and tax time is coming up and all this stuff but it's in the works I'll be coming back a lot more a lot sooner hope you guys have a good week and uh, till next time players